Hello, I'm Armin Budish. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, we'll work out ways to win when you're a weekend warrior. Then, no one's ever truly prepared for the loss of a loved one, but we have stress-reducing advice that can help you out. You can score points at your Super Bowl party when you follow our playbook of winning recipes. Plus, baby boomers are creating a boom in the need for social service programs. Will they go bust? Find out. And how to protect yourself from lawsuits and creditors. January may be nearing its end, but we're just at the beginning of a half hour of great information. So pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for Golden Opportunities. One week from today is Super Bowl Sunday, and while we couch potatoes, get ready by exercising the chip lift, we may also be inspired to get back, to get back into shape. Today we've teamed up with physical therapist Jim Porterfield. He's going to coach us through plays that will improve our fitness. Jim's the president and owner of the Rehabilitation and Health Center in Akron. Thanks for joining us, Jim. You bet, Armin. Jim, is it too late for me? and our viewers to get back into shape? No, absolutely not. Uh, the body responds very favorably to proper nutrition and consistent exercise. The key is to um, get up and get going. How do we get fit without getting hurt? Well, that's, that's a great question. The key is to uh, just learn how to, ex how to exercise and uh, don't overdo it so to get the proper information and to uh, learn how to move without hurting yourself. How do we get started? Uh, you get started by having, if you're having pain in your skeleton or anything where you're taking medication, then uh, I would get evaluated by someone who understands movement. Physical therapists are trained to do that. And then, um, and then help get an exercise program designed for whatever you're trying to deal with. The key is to get str as strong as you can, as quickly as you can without injuring yourself. Do we need a trainer? Can we go just go to the gym? I mean, how do we... Yeah, I think once you get, uh, become assessed and you, and you learn how to uh, exercise, then I think you can do that on your own. All right. It's, it's, uh, that's the best, actually. All right, so we get started, we go to the gym, we start doing our stuff, mm -hmm. and we start to feel soreness, pain. Right. Right. How do we know the difference between what's normal soreness and, and an injury? Well, soreness is absolutely normal, and actually if you're exercising right, you should become a little muscle sore. The key is to uh, differentiate between muscle sore and joint sore. You don't want to hurt the joints in your skeleton, but the key is to learn how to move properly and, uh, and learn the sequence of how to exercise. Can we determine the difference between normal soreness and an injury, or do we need to see a doctor? How do we make that judgment? No, so, uh, two-day delayed onset muscle soreness in two days is absolutely normal after exercise. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's say that we are worried that we have an injury. Mm -hmm. Then what? Then just uh, become assessed, uh, be evaluated by a person who understands musculoskeletal medicine, and then uh, learn how to manage it through, uh, through treatment. There's very effective treatment for musculoskeletal injuries. Now you do rehab for people. Rehab, right. Uh, so what would you do for someone that comes in and says, I I'm hurt? We would uh, take a history, figure out what positions and what forces um, in increase the injury and how the injury is acting, and then develop a program to, uh, to change it and to, uh, and to uh, improve it and heal it. Actually, it takes 12 to 16 weeks sometimes for these tissues to heal completely. Um, the uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, do we sit and watch TV and eat our chips? Well, the, the problem is, is that um, we eat too much of the wrong foods over a number of years and our body makes significant changes. The, the average American gains one pound per year after the age of 25 and loses one half pound of lean body mass, which is muscle, ligament, tendon, and bone a year after the age of 25. So the average 55-year-old American is 30 pounds heavier and has gained 12 to 15 pounds of those tissues they need to counteract the weight that they've gained, and then they overload their skeleton and become injured. We see it every day. So I'm above average. You're above <laughs> average. <laughs> well, thanks, Jim, you for bet. your advice. It's mm -hmm. uh, very helpful. Uh, it's not too late to get back in shape, and I'm not talking just about the chip lift, so, though uh, this is my favorite exercise, I have to say. My thanks to Jim Porterfield for his game-winning advice. <laughs> to find out more, 
Call the Rehabilitation and Health Center at 330-564-4100 or visit www.rhchealth.com. Next, preparing for the loss of a loved one.